Okay, hopefully this will be the go reading. All right. <laughs> I tried recording you guys earlier and uh, literally the sound did not work. <laughs> then I had to go restart everything, reset everything. Oh, it's been a nightmare. All right, let's get started. <laughs> Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign. Welcome to your general love. Who's coming towards you for December 1st? to December 15th, 2018. So what I'm going to do is split it up. Instead of doing the whole month, I'm going to split it up from the 1st to the 15th and then the the, the 16th until the 31st. So yeah, 31st, yeah. Yes, this month is the 31st. And um, thank you guys for liking and subscribing to my channel. And yes, again, I do read your comments. <laughs> <laughs> if you do, if this reading does not resonate with you, check your rising sign, Venus, Moon, you know, all the all the stuff that you're supposed to check. Uh, if you don't know it, check out the link below. I will help you with that. Uh, if you want a personal reading with me, go to my website, jenniferwalkerzen.com, or check out the link below. Hopefully, I, this time, will remember to put what the name of these cards are. They're really cool. I just got them, so... Um, I'm still learning a lot of the symbolism on the cards. But I, they really resonate with me. I like them a lot. All right. You know how we are. We get bored. With bored with decks. I like to change them up. All right. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign. All right. On a serious note, let's get to work. <laughs> Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign. Tell me what's going on with their general love life for December 1st to the 15th, 2018. Wow, December already, wow. Tell me what's going on with their general love life. Show me the card I need to see. Oh, you want two of these. Oh, wow. Okay, well, it's pretty obvious from the cards that I got that you guys have to make some kind of choice. Uh, we literally have the two of swords and we have the two of pentacles, right? So... Either you have a choice in love or you're mentally blocked uh, between two people. All right. So either you or the other person that you're dealing with. Two, two, two. I should play that. All right. Sorry. Let me let me ask first. All right. Okay. Um, what's their blockage for their romantic love life? Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign. What's their blockage for romantic love life? December... Uh, first to the to the fifteenth, yeah, two thousand eighteen. I keep wanting to say November. <laughs> Come on, what's your blockage? What's your blockage? Tell me other blockages, spirit. Show me the card I need to see. Show me the card I need to see. Okay. Hmm. So it could be a water sign here. We have the Prince of Cups. So there could be a water sign here that you're interested in. Um, that is blocking the situation, which is the reason why in the current situation you have a choice to make. Or uh, because this, these cards actually, these princes and princesses actually are the knights. So this is technically the knight of cups. There's a lack of movement in here uh, for your romantic love life, obviously. Emotions. Okay. What is um, Aries, someone rising Venus sign strength for the romantic love life? Show me the card I need to see. Show me the card I need to see. Show me the card I need to see. What is their strength for December 5th, 1st to the 15th, 2018? Show me the card I need to see. Thank you. So your strength is, again, we have the prince, which is the knight again. We have another knight going on here. Uh, knights are always movement, and this has to do with fire. So some kind of movement and passion, or this actually could represent a fire sign. So what are you guys going on? We got maybe have we have a water sign and a fire sign. Well, you guys obviously have a fire sign, but there could be another fire sign involved. All right, what is um, something from Aries, someone rising, a Venus sign's past, romantic love situation? Okay. Okay, so someone's been in hermit mode. They've been doing a lot of soul searching. You were the other person. Uh, that's what's been going on in the past. Uh, you know, when the hermit comes out, it usually means someone's taking some time out by themselves. Okay. Who's coming towards Aries, someone rising Venus sign for December 1st to the 15th? Who's coming towards Aries, someone rising Venus sign December 1st 
to the 15th, 2018. Who's coming towards Aries? Show me the card I need to see. Show me the card I need to see. Show me the card I need to see. Thank you. Okay, an earth sign. You guys got a lot of people here. <laughs> All right, so a potential earth sign, maybe also this hermit could be that same earth sign there because the hermit obviously represents Virgo. So this could be a Virgo. Alrighty. So what does the queen of pentacles represent? Obviously the card says nature. Yes, that's true. Uh, someone who's motherly, uh, someone who's good with their money. Uh, queens are always about patience. They're about uh, they have a lot of life experience so this person has a lot of life experience in solid things like tangible material things um, very nurturing person the person coming towards you turn that towards you all right what's going to happen in Aries someone rising Venus signs immediate future that they cannot change that will happen from December 1st to the 15th 2018 show me the card I need to see show me the card I need to see show me the card I need to see Okay. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> this uh, one of the readings. Um, this came out with a honeymoon as a clarification card, and it was funny because one of the people commented and said, uh, "A honeymoon in Vegas," because I was like, "Who takes the honeymoon in the desert?" <laughs> anyway, this is the strength card. It was just funny because this card has bones in the background. Obviously, it's because of the fact that. Um, the lion was out of control at one point and now it's under control. And strength card represents courage, it represents um, passions and having control of those passions. So obviously you can see this lion is very tame. And also this can represent a Leo. So we have another fire going on here with you guys. So potentially a Leo coming up. So let's push these over here. What is Aries, someone rising in Venus signs advice for their romantic love life? What's their advice for their romantic love life? What's their advice from December 1st, 15, 2018? What's their advice for their romantic love life? Show me card I need to see. Show me card I need to see. Show me card I need to see. Okay, that feels good. Whew. <laughs> okay. Every time I see this card, because you see the Ace of Wands, uh, potency. <laughs> So it's pretty funny. So uh, I think your advice is going to be uh, controlling new passions. So, or it could be saying going at those, uh, accepting new passions. We'll have to clarify to see. What is uh, something about the person coming towards Aries, someone arising a Venus sign that we don't know that we need to know? What is something that we need to know about the person coming towards Aries, someone arising a Venus sign? Show me the card I need to see. Show me the card I need to see. Okay. Interesting. Ten of Cups. So that's complete happiness. They are completely happy uh, in a good place coming towards you. That's awesome. Okay, let's put that there. And let's see what a potential possible outcome will be of this situation. Then we're going to clarify. Clarify everything. All right, Aries, someone rising Venus sign. Tell me a potential outcome for Aries, someone rising Venus sign for their romantic love life from December 1st to the 15th, 2018. Yes, I can't believe I'm saying that. And the year is coming up. Okay, come on. Show me a card I need to see. Show me a card I need to see. Card I need to see. Okay, thank you. No! I don't want to show the card show it okay because I have to all right well we have to clarify everything so you're you're you've completed or a person that you're dealing with has completed uh, going through a lot of pain with the ten of swords and you see that there's light at the end of this so you're coming out of it you're coming out of it obviously there was a choice to be made here in love and something about a wish at the uh, at the bottom of the deck, the overall energy, which is good. Or it could be an Aquarius. 
but I don't feel like I don't sense that it's an Aquarius I, I sense that you have a wish about something and maybe that's why there was some time taken out about this because obviously there's a choice to be made here so let's put these aside and let's do some clarification all right let me find out why we have oh yeah I, I cut the deck and I got um, and if you see me looking to the side here it's because I'm looking at my monitor I got the uh, hermit card and the two of coins so obviously either this involves an earth sign Virgo um, or you've taken time out to think about this choice as soon as I cut the deck I see that and you, and you see here it's it's all aligning the same way it's matching up and again when I cut the deck again this is what I got examining choices seeing if they are like an illusion or if they're worth your time could be something involving finances too I think for the general reading today I got a new deck on stuff to do with finances so maybe we will we will do that Ugh. this table is too close guys Ugh, so I'm gonna move it all right that's better now I'm all weak and Ooh, that table. It's a heavy table. All right, why we have the two of coins here and the two of swords? What's this about? What's this about? What's this choice about, please? Okay, all right, there we go. We got uh, a fire sign person. I know you guys are a fire sign person, but I think this is involving a Leo because. A Leo or a Sagittarius, for sure, because we have the Sagittarius symbol on there, and we also have the Leo symbol on there. So it's either Sagittarius or Leo, and you guys, of course, are Aries. All right, what else do I need to know about this two of coins or two of swords here? Okay, well, obviously, uh, your advice was the ace of um, the ace of wands. And then uh, this choice obviously is a very passionate choice. So definitely a lot of passion here. Uh, and at the bottom of the deck, I have the sun card. All right, there's a Leo. There's a Leo in here. It's definitely something involving a Leo, potentially in an earth sign, because I see Virgo, Hermit, and then I see the earth sign here. So we, we have a Virgo potentially, and we have a, a Leo. All right. Give me one more card. This one more card. Tell me why we have this two of coins, two of swords here. Ooh. So we got the ten of swords. Uh, whatever's going on with this choice, definitely someone's going to get hurt or someone feels hurt about it. So there's two people involved here and someone's feeling hurt about it and it's definitely surrounding passion. Okay. So what's this water sign about here? I think the fact that it's just not movement. If you look at this person, it's supposed to be like a, a knight, but it's they're sitting there and they're like just like looking at the water and they're trying to figure out what to do. Okay, so um, this is usually a knight card and knights are obviously movement, but this person in this card is sitting here and they're moping and they're, they're just upset and hurt and they're just contemplating of what to do next. All right, what do we have for this blockage here? Tell me some information about this blockage, please. Well, obviously. Uh, so someone's not using their intuition with the hypersis in reverse, and someone's not communicating what they want or cutting something out, and we have a choice in love with the Two of Cups. So someone is not using their intuition, and they're not cutting someone out, and they're not making a choice here. All right, why do we have the Prince of Wands for the strength, please? So obviously this person feels passionate about you. And this person coming towards you may have a lot of sleepless nights. Maybe you have to make the choice. Either you or the other person has to make the choice. The reason why the... the uh, the Prince of Wands is here is because of the strength for you. So definitely this decision is leaving you with sleepless nights. You were the other person. 
What else do I need to know about this Prince of Wands? It's definitely love here, and we saw that with the Two of Cups. Um, well, obviously, we have nature coming towards you, so, you know, the Queen of uh, Pentacles. So, this could, this card definition means um, abundance, material abundance, love, or um, pregnancy. So, take it how it resonates. Um, let me see, why is the Hermit card here? I want to get a little bit more information about this Hermit guy. Normally, I wouldn't clarify the past because, you know, you guys know what happened in the past, but I just kind of want to get more of a story of what's going on here because of the fact that I see two, a couple people. I want to see if this comes out as another person. Tell me about this hermit card, please. Okay, thank you. So, someone decided to take a leap of faith. Hmm. So, you or the other person went into hermit mode and decided to take a leap of faith and now you're in this indecisive situation why is the queen of queen of cups here queen of cups the queen of pentacles here jeez why is the queen of pentacles here King of Swords. So this person's here because they're thinking with their head and not with their heart. Um, they have communicated with you. And they're using their intelligence. Okay. Why do we have the Queen of Pentacles? Give me one more card, please. Hmm. Except there's some mystery still here. And obviously, we saw that the blockage was someone wasn't using their intuition. So, this queen, or this earth sign, more or less, there's a, there's, it looks like there's a choice between an earth sign and a fire sign, or, or this earth sign's not cutting someone out with the queen, king of swords and the moon. Hmm. So it's either you or the other person. It's not cutting someone out. And they're keeping secrets. Okay. Why do we have the strength card here? And there could be someone new in Bob because I'm seeing Ace for Spirit saying Ace. And then I see the full cards. That's new. So there could be an old, another person that's been involved and then a new person that's come through. And Spirit's telling you to go with the new one. Because your strength is the fire. So you may be being told to go with the uh, Leo, not with the uh, Earth. Okay. Why do we have the strength card here, please? Why do we have the strength card? What's that about? Okay, two cards want to come out. So obviously, uh, there is definitely a fire sign person here, but there's not an equal give and take. And someone's doing some thinking and contemplating. Okay, that's pretty obvious. I don't know whether or not the earth sign is the one with the two people or you're the one with the two people and is thinking and contemplating and, and you have someone new and then someone that was here before. Or the person that you're involved with is, is dealing with this kind of situation. And you have to, you know, choose one. So... Let's get, find out what the advice is about. What's the Ace of Wands about? <laughs> the Hermit card again. All right, I'm beginning to think that there's an Earth sign here. It's a Virgo. Okay. So your advice is to you to take the Virgo. And obviously, this new, new, that matches, okay, because that's how we do in uh, tarot. Okay. So there seems to be someone who is a Virgo. And that would be the same earth sign person. But then we have the fire sign here. Let me get one more card on this uh, Ace of Wands. Oh, Lord. 
Okay, so we have the fire sign person again. Messages of passion about stability. So someone's doing soul searching about messages of passion towards stability or marriage. So someone's giving you a message that's very passionate and it's also uh, stable or involved in marriage in some way. So you're doing soul searching on a message that you received about something serious, but on the same token, you guys are very passionate and it's something new to you. So Spirit's advice is to take the new passionate opportunity that you have. Um, there obviously is a choice here. Maybe the choice being there's an earth sign and there's a fire sign. Obviously you're a fire sign, but I'm seeing more or less a Leo. And um, you're mentally blocked about what to do about it. And you're trying to make a choice and you've been doing a lot of thinking. That's why the hermit card keeps coming up. You're trying to think, okay, do I go with the earth sign or do I go with the fire sign? Okay. So why is the person that we that's coming towards you have complete happiness? What's that about? Completely emotionally fulfilled. I see. Because the person coming towards you is somebody from your past. So that's why you have a choice. Somebody from your past came back and someone new is here. Aries, whoever I'm talking to. Um, so they had a reconciliation with you, but on the same token, you have somebody new. That's why you're stuck in your head about it. Because you're just like, okay, I have this new person. And then I have the old person that came back. Wow, this is a heck of a situation. Can I have your life? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right, can I have the clarification on the Ten of Swords, please? What's going on with that, please? Looks like you probably picked someone towards the end of the month. Yeah, you picked someone. Page of Pentacles. So you pick the, the new serious offer, looks like, because that's a new path and something serious. And pages are always a new path. And uh, there are also messages of, uh, you know, something tangible, something you can hold on to. It's an earth sign, you know, engage your ring, flowers, whatever that may be. So someone got picked here. What else do I need to know about this Ten of Swords? Okay, so someone, either either the, the new person got hurt or the one from the past got hurt. Let's get one more card in here. Let's make it more clarification on this. Obviously, we have a choice to be made here. I'd like to know what the choice was. I'm like, in, uh, well, spirit, obviously someone was left out in the cold. But that's not really helping me. Okay, so someone was left out in the cold. Yeah, obviously. Uh, it was fast moving and I think, well, since, okay, since you're trying to tell me the one that got left out in the cold, actually, because these don't wanted to come out together. So the fire sign is going to get out left out in the cold. The, the Leo or the Sagittarius person is going to get left out in the cold. And it looks like you're going to go for the one in the past. If it isn't your situation, it's the vice versa then. Okay, so it's two different stories here. So either the person from the past you, you decided to keep and you got rid of the new one and you left them out in the cold. However, it looks to me like spirits advising you to take the new one. Okay, just saying. You don't have to. You have free will. You can do whatever you like. Um, all right, let's get some romance angels on this. And I also want to pull like a finance card because... Uh, this is general for this month. Let us pull a general because I got these new Oracle cards. I might as well use them. I do use them in the personal reading, so hey, why not? I'm sure you guys want to know what, what's going on with your finances since we already talked about your love life. <laughs> no, stop it. I'm messing with you. All right. 
Um, give me some understanding of this outcome, please. Give me 100% action when I need to know, Spirit. Thank you. Show me the card you need to save. Anytime you want to tell me to stop. Okay. All right, thank you. All right, trust. The situation is calling for you to have faith. Yes, very vague, I know. So basically, trust that everything is going to work out in your favor. Um, this choice that's going to be made is going to hurt someone. It's going to leave somebody on the cold. It looks to me like from the cards, if I'm reading the cards correctly and my intuition is telling me correctly, which it is, um, it will be the fire sign. Even though spirit suggests to you to take the fire sign, you're going to pick the one from the past, potentially, if you choose to. Okay. All right. So let's do one general oracle card just to see what's going on with your finances. Let me know if you like this at the end, you know. Don't, of course, I don't have to include it next time. Aries, someone rising Venus sign. Just give me a general guidance on their finance. Oh, thank you, that was so quick, awesome. By the way, these card decks are called this, Angels of Abundance. All right. So it says, savings. As you uh, continuously save for your future, your future is saved. You do your future self a big favor as you consistently set aside present funds that is a part of your self-care and path to feeling secure to your focused upon your life purpose. Uh, well, again, we all need to save. So Aries, join the club with us. Save. <laughs> That's your message <laughs> <laughs> Considering the fact that the holidays are coming up, I really don't know how. <laughs> but anyway, that's that's your message on um on your finances. <laughs> Good luck with that. <laughs> All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you did, please like, subscribe, and yes, I read your comments. Um, thank you guys uh, for watching. And if you want a personal reading, go to my website or check out the link below. All right, guys. I'll see you soon.